What's up everybody? Good morning, good morning, good morning. We are off to Apex Prom 2024. I don't even remember how many Apex Proms we've done now at this point. We even did the one at COVID, which was crazy. But we're off to the office right now to get the trailer, get the trailer loaded up, and we're gonna head over there bright and early. It's currently nine o'clock in the morning. Head over there bright and early, uh, get set up. Um, we're planning to get there about 11. Aaron's bringing all the sound as you guys have seen before he lives over in raleigh and has a, a badass vrx sound system that he is bringing he's also bringing another fellow younger student that wants to become a dj potentially in the future which is an opportunity for us today's problem we're going to be doing a combo like we did last year it's going to be me and show out me and jordan they're going to be doing it um and we're actually going to do some back and forth on the dj side with me and jordan this year instead of uh, making me have to dj like four hours straight so our current plan on the dj side is is like a 30 30 30 30 30 minute sort of thing I'll probably do the opening hour and then we'll start doing 30 30 30 minute splits um, just because the opening hour half an hour of that is just background music getting people hyped getting people ready to go I will say today's prom we're gonna be solving everyone's problem with apex prom that we do every single year and that is you guys complain that we don't do enough lighting so we pitched it this year as you guys know, I'm a big proponent. I We bring what the client wants. We cater to the client's vision. Apex Prom, if you go watch the pre previous two, is all about the theme. The theme, every single year. We've been doing bistro lighting across the whole entire thing, like 600 feet of bistro lights. We haven't had really many movers. It's been mostly wash lighting because they don't allow haze. Well, guess what? This year, the theme is all about the party. It's low-key a Coachella theme, and we're at a different venue this year, and this venue allows for haze, so it's exciting. So, we're bringing eight moving heads. We're gonna be doing a 30-foot truss band. It's going to be amazing. And this is the lighting for Apex. Ready to go? All right, so we get on the road. A lot of stuff going on today. Update you more along the way, but it's gonna be a fun day. All right, we're gonna go, go see what's up. Me and Trey are literally like 30 minutes late because we had a flat tire on the trailer. Fun stuff, fun stuff. We're gonna go see what's up though. We haven't been here since 2019. That was the last time we were at this venue. I don't even know what's the best way to load in now. We're gonna figure out the best way to get in this. You got an LG box. We got TV monitors here tonight. You know, all I told Aaron was that I wanted like six subwoofers and two arrays, and this is what all shows up. Jesus. Alright, so not only did uh, the GoPro not get the setup video, but I also didn't have, have audio on on the first take of going around and filming all this stuff. Apex 2024, we have a lot to talk about with uh, that setup right there. Let's go through all of the lighting around the room, which is mostly on our truss hang this year. You guys have been asking me, or you guys have been commenting, and you know, one of the things you guys say, or a lot of people that go to the comments, you always tell me what we should have done. But I would like to question all of you guys to reconsider yourselves and ask why we did what we did, or why I played what I played, because, you know, in the last prom, the first prom of the year, a lot of people gave me criticism on what music I should have played. When you're doing school dances, you have a lot of restrictions when it comes to music and a lot of things to consider. 
um, for this school dance in particular, I have to work around uh, the superintendent who's very strict when it comes to music. So I gotta deal with the uh, advisor that basically he's gonna text me when she leaves so that way we can play Mobamba, Carnival, and all that good stuff. Ooh, lighting around the room, very cool, very cool. Keep in mind, when you guys see these proms and stuff that I'm DJing, a lot of times there is a reason why I am playing the way I'm playing or why we're doing what we're doing. And uh, this is no exception for Apex this year. Normally we'd be doing a lot of lighting around the room. This year we did exactly what you guys have been wanting me to do, which is more DJ entry or DJ heavy lighting. So we got a 30 foot truss hang up top. And all of our lighting of course is both lighting USA, right Jordan? So uh, up top on that 30 foot truss band, we have four of the 360 tubes up there we also have the 100 watt mini beam movers so these are beams tonight and we do have haze we'll get to that we have four of them going across the top in between we do have the aurora 1915 wash movers providing some wash ability and down below we have two of the mh 150 spots as well and we have four 360 tubes up top as well on the 360 tube stands and then also on the lighting side um well around the room there are 32 both lighting S4s, IR4 up lights around the room. We also have the both lighting haze maker. This is the first time I think we've ever used this at an event or shown it even on the channel. So this is the oil-based haze generator from both lighting. Pretty cool unit right here. The fans are actually on the lid and you can adjust this to whatever angle you want to shoot kind of your haze, either up on an angle or straight out, etc. It does have full DMX capabilities. It also comes with a remote or you can just use the internal duration and interval settings that I'm gonna be using tonight. Up here is the flap for the haze, and this is actually a combo plug, so you unscrew this and there is actually a cap. So there's a cap for during transport, you basically put the haze juice right in there, and you can cap it when you're transporting it, and then you use the output screw on for when you're outputting haze. Now for the main part that you guys are probably all looking at, the sound. So the sound tonight is four JBL VRX 932 LAPs up top on both sides on top of Global Trust cranks. I forgot to mention those are also Global Trust cranks. We have JBL SRX 815P center fills and we even have LD Systems Maui 44 side fills. So we got the column arrays over here on the side to fill the side. And then of course we don't have one, not two, not three, not four, not five, not even eight. We have 12 JBL VRX 918 SP subwoofers to rock this prom. Absolutely insane. And coming back into our sound world, we have Audio-Technica 3000 4th Gen microphones. We have Aaron's rack right here with a Soundcraft UI16 built into it. Drive Rack Venue 360. One of the power distros are actually running two because each one, each pair of subwoofers is one 20 amp circuit. We have six circuits dedicated to just the bass. Pretty insane setup. And uh, also in Sound World, we have Burfa, of course, Rain 12 MK2s, the brand new uh, DJM S7. We have everything running. We have a couple of EV ZLX monitors. We have a little Behringer here to adjust the monitor volume, pretty cool. And uh, everything is running on sound switch for the lighting tonight. And we're using the Transmit Pro from Both Lighting USA. If you guys have never seen one of these before, this is basically the same thing as your normal little tiny DMX transmitter, except it's three times more powerful, which is allowing us to do no dropout DMX signal to all of our uplights around the room. This right here, this full sound switch program that we are running, this is the Platinum sound switch file from Both Lighting USA. So one of the things with Jordan where he said we're making lighting simple and easy is we the don't, right we the right way, we don't only sell all of the lighting, all this awesome lighting, but we also sell the programming to allow you guys to maximize the usage out of your lighting. So you guys can get, this is the Platinum Profile from Both Lighting USA that works with Sound Switch. So basically you have to get the Sound Switch software and then you can download our pre-programmed file and you are instantly up and running with all of the programming set for all of the lighting you're seeing. All of our moving heads, all the tubes, all the up lights are already set, ready to go so that you can just literally DJ all your events with really cool, sick lighting. And you guys will get to see all of that tonight on the GoPro footage, on this footage, etc. So super excited to show you guys all the capabilities with Haze tonight with our pre-programmed file.
Nope. Well, meet the team today. They already changed. We have we have Hi. Gabe in the building. Hi. He didn't do a thing yet. He yep. showed up literally late. Trey, as always, Mr. DJ Show Out. He's going to DJ for some a little bit. And I'm, gonna I'm going to DJ for a little bit. bit. And then he's going to DJ for a little bit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, and make we're going to MC in between. Yeah, 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 yeah. We also got Colin tonight. And uh, Aaron is somewhere, but Aaron is the awesome guy that we get to bring all 12 of these subwoofers and the VRX tops. And you know, if you guys have been following the channel and seeing the Apex Productions, we started with, I think, four subwoofers in 2019. Then we went to eight. Then we went to 10 last year, and now we got 12. We got 12, 12 subwoofers, and it's absolutely insane. I don't know why we would ever need 14. Like, <laughs> this is, out the, I mean, I don't know why you would ever need eight. But I mean, look at you, you did eight. Like. I'm gonna be honest right now, I'm gonna be honest. Eight is the max we need for this. This is just out, this is just absurd. A little side story, Aaron owns all this, and he basically works with a production company, and the production company takes these and uses them on shows all across America, and, this is like one of the few events a year that he like comes to have fun. <laughs> so when he comes to have fun, he comes to have fun. Yeah. And he just brings it. And you know, I, every year I tell him we don't need it, but. <laughs> yeah, like, well, we just don't, might as well. yeah, seriously. Honestly, at this, at this, you, you guys know the speakers we bought at this point. We could do it ourselves at this point, but right. why, why not? Why rob Aaron of having fun? With 12, so, I mean, we're having fun. I mean, this yeah, is. Giving the, kid, giving the kids a concert level experience that they probably ain't never gonna get at, like, at this level. All right, guys, here you go. You get your own little concert.
That is the prom. Little side notes, we were waiting on the superintendent, as I mentioned earlier, to leave before we played like Fiend and some of those other ones. Um, but of course, you know, they were asking for him the whole entire time and when we played him, it went off like crazy. Um, I've told this before, but Apex, they do that uh, prom court at 11.15 and then we still have to go until midnight and normally everyone leaves. Like there's, it's a four hour prom. I mean, I would leave too. <laughs> it's a ridiculously long prom, so. Anyways, that was the prom. That was the prom until midnight. The guys are gonna get all these cases up. I'm gonna go change, and then I'm gonna start breaking down all the personal stuff. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna get the GoPro though running so you guys can see the whole breakdown. Oh, also, we couldn't run the Hazer. We thought they had approval to do so, and then we ran the Hazer and got in trouble. So, we had to shut the Hazer off before we even started. But, 
We thought that there was approval in place to allow us to use it. There wasn't. So sadly, that's why none of the clips had really cool beams or anything because we didn't have a hazer. Live and you learn. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We're gonna, they're already working. So I'm gonna go change so that way we can get working. Yeah, we working, we working. What do you man? think, Sean? Man, I think it was even more lit than last year though. What? I think it was even more lit than last year. I think they oh, well we got more lit songs now. You know what I'm saying like we done stepped it up right there. Yeah. I, I like that. I like that. We, but it's a struggle of music. No, it really is. The four hours? A whole four, four hours? hours? Four hours? Oh you God. guys tried DJing for high school for four hours. I'm talking about like four hours. Four hours of DJing. And they on the dance floor the entire night. The yeah. entire night. You gotta keep them there. Yeah. It's rough. Anyways, break it down. Trailer all loaded up, Aaron's all loaded up. Y'all know on the channel by now, we gotta do a final walkthrough. Make sure we got everything, like we missed that. Look at that, Tra Trey's already grabbing all the bags. Whose bag is that? We got it all, we got it all. <laughs>